Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So, I've been, you know, making, you know, normal dishes. Uh, recently went to the doctor. Doctor said I gotta lose weight. I got high blood pressure. So that means I gotta change my diet. Well, I know there's some of you out there that um, had made comments about wanting to see some keto uh, dishes. And, um... After some soul searching, I thought that maybe the keto diet is the way for me to go. Um, I, I eat way too much sugar. Um, I eat way too many carbs. I feel that the keto diet is one that doesn't need as much preparation. Um, not to say that it's easy. I've already been on a no sugar, no carb diet this week. Um, so and that's uh, four days. Bought this cookbook. There's 550 recipes in here. So what I'm going to try on this channel for a, for for a while is um, to pick a recipe out of this book, cook it, taste it, and give you my opinion on it. Um, it's got the nutritional values in here. Um, so the keto, let me see if I can find the page. And l let me first say that um, I don't claim to be an expert. As a matter of fact, I know absolutely nothing about the keto diet. Um, so if you're going to follow this, um, it's advisable that you get your doctor's uh, blessing to do so. Um but the expectation on a keto diet is to eat 70 to 80 percent fat, 25 percent protein, and um, 5 percent carbs. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that much fat. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to watch how much fat I eat. So um, I was looking at this. Okay. And this, um, and I see where it actually calls for some um, creme fraiche in some of the recipes. And for those of you who don't know what creme fraiche is, creme fraiche is just a fancy sour cream. Overpriced, really expensive if you can find it. Super easy to make. Two ingredients. Heavy whipping cream and buttermilk cultured buttermilk, got to be cultured buttermilk, or, or yogurt, you know, it's got to be a culture. Um, so, that being said, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, we're going to start it, um, we're going to start the creme fresh. Um, I have a pot of water boiling, I'm going to put the jar in there to sanitize it, and um, we're going to measure out one cup of a heavy whipping cream, and we're going to add one tablespoon of buttermilk to it. We're going to give it a stir and we're going to sit it on the counter for 24 hours. Okay, so I've got this uh, this jar and I've got um, there's actually a, a cup and a half in here. I want to see how much uh, actually fits into this jar. Oh, that's fine. I can actually add just a little bit more. Okay. So, regardless of what I put in here, the formula is one cup to one teaspoon of cultured buttermilk. So we're going to put the buttermilk and we're going to stir it up. It'll stay out on the counter for 24 hours at uh, about 70 degrees and um, then tomorrow you'll see that 
it's the, the color is going to yellow up a little bit and it's going to thicken. So the next time you see me, it'll be um, 24 hours later. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and I'm going to take this coffee filter off and give it a little stir and you can see how it's thickened up. Now this will last in your fridge for up to 10 days and the longer it sits the tangier it's going to get. Now let me just get another spoon okay so I'm just going to taste it yes oh that's good so it's like a mellow um, sour cream and you're going to be able to use this on just about anything you're going to be able to use it for desserts you're going to be able to use it to thicken sauces um, you know to use it in a dessert you whip this up with some vanilla and um, and a little bit of sugar and you'll be good to go I on the other hand because I'm dieting and I'm not allowed to sugar I'm trying to watch my sugar I won't be doing that but I will be putting this on vegetables or my protein or something okay so there you have it homemade creme fraiche a lot cheaper than buying it in the store you, you probably it probably costs half the amount for twice the amount that you would buy in the store like I said there's changes in my uh, there's gonna be little changes for a little bit just uh, I'm gonna be doing some keto recipes um, and I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a weigh-in. I've been dieting for a week. Two weeks ago, I went to the doctor, and the doctor said lose weight. My weigh-in there was 294 pounds. And um, let's see what I am. All right. So here it says I'm 290. I've lost four pounds and since my last weigh-in when I was at the doctor uh, but I've really been concentrating for the last five days on on my diet oh. yeah you did <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and no that's not staying in either <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. I didn't even see you coming in <laughs> okay so um yeah, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so I've, I've lost about four pounds and uh, because I've uh, cut out as much carbs as I can and no sugar. And the sugar is the hardest thing. Anyway, there you have it. A couple changes. And what I will be doing when I do these keto uh, recipes, I will be weighing in at the end of every recipe because I, I make a video a week about so anyway here's John Campo the Not So Neat Chef and we'll be seeing you again soon